You're watching the Gamers Asylum. I'm your host, Lan Soon, and this is. You want to say it, Lex? Super Brawl! Super Saturday? What is it? I don't even know what it's called! What is it called? It's called Super Saturday. Super Saturday? Yes, Super Saturday! God damn, what's that guy's problem? Anyways, guys, yes, Super Saturday. This is gonna be a weekly segment where I play through quite an infamous game. Oh, <laughs> see what I did there? Anyways, um, I have admittedly never played Infamous before, but considering that I'm hyped as hell for Second Son to come out on the PS4 next year, uh, I want to give the original two games a shot, and I figured might as well do so on this super-powered, super-explosive Super Saturday, because I'm playing a super he well, can't call him a superhero, can't really call him a super-villain either, just a super-choose-your-own-adventure person, yeah, whatever. Let's just get this shit started. Holy sweet mother of God. The sky is falling. Oh, bust to the face. Oh boy. <laughs> I guess it doesn't take long for all hell to break Six loose. Minutes. Pulse is 45. Respiration 10. Looking good, Cole. Looking good. Really? Looking good? The hell happened? Yee. Oh, God. What the hell happened? It's funny that you say that, Cole, because, uh... Hell is what happened. There's someone alive down there. Hey, wave up if you can hear me. If you can walk, get out of there. Head for the bridge. Hey, you! In the garage! Get the hell out of there! Uh, somebody up in the garage. All right, yes, Cole, move, 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 move. Oh my God, what the hell is going on? Uh, it's the end of the world as I know it. And holy shit, got walls of fire. Is this like a fraction of what the place looks like after Terminator 2, like August 29th, 1997? Fucking Judgment Day. Looks like the city is still partially intact, but god damn it! Cole! Cole, man, you there? Come on, man, pick up! Seek. Seek. Oh, what the hell's going on? I think there was an explosion. No shit, there was an explosion! The TV says terrorists are pulling stuff up all over the city. Meet me at the Fremont Bridge. We'll get Trish and find some place to hunker down. Whoa. See you there. Cole's got kind of a really floaty jump. Hmm. Parking entrance. Wait. When does this game take place? That looks like, like a sign that you would see back in like the 70s or the 80s or something. I don't know. Again, I've never played Infamous before. I know about it. I know this is Cole McGrath. I... Should be dead, but it'd be a pretty short game if you were. Oh, uh, I guess I follow the explosions. Definitely. <laughs> well, th this game certainly doesn't waste time with any bullshit at the start, does it? Wow. Bridges out. That's no good. I guess I can take this pipe across. Uh, this looks like a tricky jump. It's not too bad. Alrighty. What? When in the blue fuck? 
did I become Zeus? It's awesome. Oh, thank God, emergency personnel. Thank God, a cop when you need one. I'm the only terrorist here. I mean, God's sake, I'm bringing the hammer of Thor down on everybody. Holy shit. I guess I'm the one setting off all these explosions. Whoa! It's pretty embarrassing if I died here in the intro. I did die in the intro, didn't I? <laughs> well, that's certainly an interesting way to start the game off. Did I die or? Huh, I guess that was supposed to happen. Day one! While sliding into unconsciousness, I felt somehow. I don't know, hear the voices of the dying. Thousands crushed by falling buildings or burned alive in the fires. Trish lost her sister. Almost lost me. Zeke was always there, somehow sure that I'd wake up while outside the city fell apart. A plague struck, followed by rioting, theft, rapes, civilization committing suicide. In a bullshit attempt to contain the biological threat, the federal government locked down all access in and out of the city, and we were stuck in this cage with the psychos. Cops are all but gone off the streets, either dead or too chicken shit to stand against the gangs that control things now. Outside, things were bad. But inside, inside me, something was beginning. Scary as hell at first. You gotta understand, there was no one to talk to, no experts to consult. But with time, I'm learning to control it, master it. Just hope it's not too late. Wow. No bullshit. I mean, pretty straight into the point. I like the graphic novel approach that they take with the, the storytelling. Very expressive game. You done good so far, Sucker Punch. Day 14, two weeks later. See, it looks pretty damn good. I thought you were going to watch TV. Ah, batteries are dead again. Uh, you mind putting on a freak show? Sure. Glad it's good for something. Probably need to charge them all. TV's a hog. Charge the batteries by zapping them. Huh. Press R1. L to aim. R to fire. Let's just start up the fridge. Nothing in the fridge, oh well. Points of interest. Well, hurry up, dude. We're gonna miss all the good shows. Alright. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm... This is admittedly uh, a bit awkward. I'm hoping that I can invert the controls on the right stick. Uh, lay into it, man. Don't be afraid to cook those babies. Okay, let's go for it. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah! Blow up those batteries. I guess we got more of them. Good thing the mini map has waypoints listed in case. Nice job, man. Boob tubes are working. Weird. It feels like I got more power. Yeah? But try frying those dummies over there. With all the nutballs running around, it'd be nice to see how much juice you're packing. Huh. 
I like the vintage cartoon you're watching, dude. What is it? Huh. Interesting indeed. I guess I'm shooting the dummies. Lay into it, man. Whoa! You see that? Flying so low, thought it was gonna crash into us. Whoa! Hey, it's a TV jacker. I love this guy. Just got word that the feds dropped some relief packages into Archer Square. The liars will the corporate media tell us that we're gonna get our fair share. The dictator? Is that you? That's easy for them to say. They're not the ones living in this cell hole. And the truth is that we've been abandoned and no one's coming to save us. So head over to Archer Square and get that food before the Reapers show up. Voice of survival out. Hmm. Told you they drop food. Man, you must be out of your mind. Think any of those pencil necks gives a crap about us? This is a PR stunt. That isn't gonna stop you from pigging out, though, is it? Hell no, it ain't. Zeke's gotta eat. You take the stairs. I'm using the express elevator. Oh, man, you get to have all the fun. I don't care what anybody says. Having a superpower would be like the greatest thing ever. Jump off the roof. <laughs> what? What are you waiting for? Do it. Uh, hang on a second. So this is Empire City, I guess. Uh. Obviously, a take on New York City, the Empire State, if you will. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> wow. Woo. Oh, that was one hell of a jump, man. I wish I could do something like that. Running down all those stairs. Ah, that sucks, donkey balls. Hey, Cole, before we head over to Archer, I need to go pick up a new six shooter. Oh, here we go. Ah, that was badass. The second you touch it, the electricity in your hands cooks off the gunpowder, and the whole thing goes kabam! <laughs> the look on your face was priceless. Damn near blew my hand off. Which is why you won't be touching the new one. <laughs> Traded this guy one of my homemade batteries for it. The ones that explode when you use them? Hell, he doesn't know that. Come on! Told me he was gonna leave the gun in the parking lot a few blocks from here. Hey, Cole. You know what I miss? Pizza. A big sloppy slice, dripping with grease and pepperoni, and payday. Having a big fat wad of bills in your pocket. Yeah, I'd settle for some hot water. Hey, remember that time we were coming home from Duffy's and I had to take a leak? And that bike cop was yelling at me to put up my hands? <laughs> You pissed all over him. <laughs> he told me to put up my I kind of like Zeke. While he's fumbling around, I jump back in and we take off. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, awesome. Until we run into a wall of cops. Like I said, awesome. <laughs> ah, bummer we won't be able to do anything like that again. Yeah, not unless some genius invents a car that doesn't explode when I sit in it. <laughs> so... He told me he was gonna leave it under a car. Oh, I'm sure somebody figured there'd be only one. Took it. We'll never find it. Stand back. I got an idea. Oh boy. Hit the cars with the shockwave. Okay. So yeah, any any of you actually happen to be watching this after the dreaded apocalypse? Uh, first thing that you should get: water. Second thing you should get: a gun. Third thing you should get, cigarettes. Those are probably going to be currency in the post-apocalyptic age. Whoa. The shockwave. Hellacious! Hell, I didn't know you could do something like that. Yeah, me neither. There was the surge. Hey, man, you don't look so hot. Trained all of a sudden. Hang on a sec. Source of electricity. Oh, cool. We can sort of do a spider sense for it. That's pretty cool. Yeah, juice up, Cole. Did you see that? Man, you 
a walking battery. You must have to recharge whenever you fire off a bunch of juice. I can feel the electricity surging through me. Almost like I'm being healed by it. Oh, this rock's so hard. Come on, let's haul tail over to Archer Square before someone takes all the brewskis. Cole, you there? Hey, babe. You hear they dropped some food? Yeah, Zeke and me are heading over there. How are you feeling? All right, I guess. Powers are all over the place. It used to be I could barely power a light bulb. Now I'm jumping off of buildings, frying the junk on Zeke's roof. You jumped off a building. What were you thinking? Relax. I'm fine. Just take it easy. After what happened to Amy, I, I couldn't... Yeah. See you guys at Archer Square. I love you. You too. Alrighty, so, so far Cole seems like a pretty upstanding individual. A bit of a rough rider, but... That's going to be one of the things that may or may not change in this game, based on the path that I choose to take. Like so many of these sandbox-style games, I'm pretty sure that this is a choose-your-own-alignment deal. And I've always liked those. Boy, it's stuck up there. I hate to say it, pal, but uh, you're the only guy here who'd live from a fall like that. You gotta climb up there and knock that stuff free. <laughs> okay, can't I just, like, shoot it from here? Probably not. Alright. I gotta admit, that's some pretty impressive climbing goal. That's something else. Whoa, that's awkward. Getting on the top of a pole like that. Hmm. I wonder. Let's go a little higher. Wait a minute, we're Stop in the f around. Get that food down. Get what food down? Isn't it like further up? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh wow, this is one really fucked up area. Mr. Floaty Jump of Doom. Rusty metal disintegrates when hit with an electrical blast. Alright, that's not too bad. Let's just nail. No. Hmm. Obviously not. I just had to get closer, is all. Again, I, I, I gotta check this camera, like, real quick. Aiming controls. Can I customize, or... Please? There we go. Uh, camera... Let's try normal horizontal. See how that feels. That's more like what I wanted. There we go. That's more traditional. Camera. The added customizability is... What am I looking for? There we go. We are eating. Dude, I don't think there's enough food in there for everybody in this Damn. fucking city. Too late. That's where I caught my first sight. The Reapers. Before the blast, they were just a bunch of junkies dealing drugs. Now, they own the Neon District. Taking whatever they want. That changes today. It does change today, doesn't it? Th 
thunder drop, huh? I guess you could say, uh, you've been thunderstruck. Alright, melee attacks, pretty basic. Can't say too much for, uh... Maybe you just have to direct hit him, I don't know. This ain't too bad. Dang, those freaks are brutal. I'm more brutal, Zeke. I'm gonna kick all their asses. There's only one person who can rule this city after the apocalypse happens, and that's me! L1 and pressing X. I suppose I should have said that often. Oh shit, sorry dude. Chow time, huh? Karma moment. This is actually pretty cool. I got one open. Let's eat. Good act enhances your good reputation. I'm still not sure what uh, karmic path that I'm going to be taking, but for right now, I'll play good. If I decide I want to get a little bit on the douchey side, I may. Good eats, huh? Good eats indeed. And uh, the path that I take will probably be determined by you guys. So answer in the comments right now. What do you want to see? Do you want to see good Cole? Do you want to see good Cole McGrath? Or do you want to see red, hot-blooded, douchebag, psycho murderer Cole? I suppose that I was maybe playing a little bit favorites there, but that's fine and dandy. Hey, Trish. Oh, I'm so glad you got the food down. These poor people are starving. Just doing what I can. Someone had to help. Okay, them. so I didn't make the good decision. I made the Those Poontang decision. Poontang's decision is best crap. decision. All right. Make me pay, huh? I'm the terrorist? I've been called a terrorist. All I remember from that day is going to work and then running for my life. That video, though. How'd I get that package? Why would I deliver a bomb? Prove. Regardless, the consequences are everywhere. Whatever there'd been between Trish and me was gone. She didn't say a word. No emotion, nothing, just walked away. By then, people nearby were starting to recognize me. It was gonna get ugly. Even Zeke was giving me weird looks. He and I made quick plans to meet up at Stampton Bridge. Try to get out of town. Just hope he shows. It's right now. I'm a little short on friends. Uh, so I didn't make the Poontang decision. She left regardless. That's not good. I've been made more heroic, and I've performed no stunts. I may have to do some off-screen playthrough of this just to get acquainted with it a little bit more. Um, he wants to fight. Let's fight. Oh, somebody wants to fight? Damn it! I gave you the food. Leave me alone. You've hurt too many people. You caused all of this. Oh, you are all asking for it right now. I'm gonna be dead. I gave you fuckers the food! What the hell are you doing throwing rocks at me? And what the hell are rocks doing killing me? Uh, listen, man. I'm almost to the bridge. Since everyone here hates your guts, we gotta get out of town. <laughs> Ain't that the fucking truth? I'll meet you there. Zeke. 
Thanks for watching my back. <laughs> sure, man. Since everyone I hates your guts. You ya. All right, I'm starting to get a little pissed off at you people. Yeah, mind your manners, fuck faces. Get on my bad side, and I will kill you. And I will relish it. I am God in this city. Do you not see what that means? Alright, looks like the douche brigade is gone for now. Anybody else want some? I saved you from those fucking... I, I can't even remember what the hell their names are yet. I, I don't know, are there like collectibles in this game, similar to Grand Theft Auto? It, it's a very similar layout, but obviously unlike GTA, there's no um, like vehicles to get into. Ah, you folks want some? Uh, yeah, about that. Never mind! What the fuck did I do? God damn. That drop is something else. I gotta get used to the combat in this game, guys, before I end up embarrassing myself by dying randomly some more. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. This was admittedly a bit shorter of a Super Saturday, as I would have liked. But, um... Yeah, uh, I'm curious what you guys think. What do you think they're going to think, Lex? I don't know! I, you know what? I don't either, and you're fucking crazy, so instead of trying to predict what the people are going to say, let's just let them decide for themselves, similar to how Cole will choose his own destiny. So I'll see you guys next Saturday for the next episode of Super Saturday. Tomorrow, Dark Souls, Sunbro Sunday. The day after, Monday. Metroid Monday. So I will see you guys next time on the Gamers Asylum. Have a good day, everybody!